Well, the good news here is that Nate has uh, dropped in intensity. So we're looking at wind speeds at about 45 miles per hour, Jim. And uh, that is down from 70 at the last update a couple of hours ago. And uh, right now at 7 o'clock, we've got a, a decent amount of wind near the center. But it is going to continue to track towards the north, northeast. And we'll still see winds around 40 to 45 miles per hour as it moves through our viewing area anywhere from 10 to 2 o'clock. So that means we'll have gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour, which means we could also have a few spots where we do have a little bit of wind damage from the uh, now that the grounds are absolutely soaked. But if you notice, we've got rain pouring right now here in Birmingham. Some of the lower clouds passing over uh, the ridge here atop Red Mountain moving rather quickly. So that's an indication of just how much we're looking at the uh, wind speeds uh, just a few hundred feet off of the ground. It's a big difference. See those clouds right there? They're just they're humming along out of the east southeast, and that is going to be what we're looking at throughout the rest of this morning. 76 right now, dew point 73. There is the center just to the uh, west of Camden now, and that is where they're looking at the heaviest rain and gustiest winds. And that will be tracking towards the north into our viewing area over the next couple of hours. But the very heavy rainfall right now for Birmingham back into Alabaster and even uh, some spots around our area getting upwards of three to four inches before the afternoon is over. And we will see some spots get another two to three inches as the rain wraps around. But the system is moving very quickly and that's encouraging, meaning that we won't have to deal with the threat of stronger winds or the very heavy rainfall here soon. But to talk more about that, we've got Ashley Gann. Ashley. Team coverage here on this Sunday morning. We're going to see those winds really picking up for places in East Alabama as the morning rolls on. By 11:30 this morning, winds in Birmingham around 35 miles per hour, upwards of about 30 miles per hour in Alabaster, with some of those stronger winds towards Talladega County. And then you'll notice picking up as we head towards the northeast from Aniana, Gaston, and Anniston, all in the mid 30s there for that wind speed and gusting at times. And these are again those futurecast gusts. So we could see those gusts at times again 30 to 40 miles out. It doesn't mean it's sustained at that, but nevertheless, and then this will continue through about 430 tonight along the Alabama Georgia state line as the eye of the storm lifts off to the north and to the east. It still will be breezy at times, even through the overnight hours, but we will notice those winds really tapering as we near midnight tonight. And with some of the changes, we've also have some updates with our severe weather potential for the latest here. Storm track meteorologist Nate Harrington. Thanks a lot, Ashley. With any landfalling tropical cyclone, you get the chance for severe weather. So far, we've been pretty lucky here in central Alabama. We've only had one instance of a storm that was possibly producing a tornado, and that was last night around 7.30 to 8 o'clock. We still have a slight risk for severe weather. That includes the chances for some isolated tornadoes, and this is going to be as these feeder bands move to the north. We've got a pretty healthy one now moving through south central uh, Alabama as we speak, but as uh, Nate continues to move to the north and east, that risk is in a shift basically east of I-65 uh, uh, toward East Alabama. Now, the encouraging part is all of this, all of these feeder bands, all of these uh, embedded thunderstorms have not produced any severe weather in quite a long time. So that might be an encouraging sign, but still, we don't need to let our guard down uh, as Nate moves through Alabama for the next several hours, guys.